Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the Apex 808 Overdrive from Maxon. Ever since its original introduction over 40 years ago now, the original TS-808 and OD-808 overdrives have been copied and there's been a million different variants of that original circuit. But some are held in higher regard than others and the original designer, Susuma Tomura, wanted to find out why. So he spent three years sourcing all sorts of old and vintage versions of the TS-808 from Ibanez and the Maxon OD-808, which is the same circuit, but in a different housing. What Mr. Tamura ended up finding was all of the most coveted, best sounding versions boiled down to a specific IC chip from a specific manufacturer from a specific time period. And he was able to source a handful of these chips and he put them in the Apex 808, hence the name. This is the apex of all of the Tube Screamer variants, according to many ears. So we are going to put that to the test. And first, we are going to hear this in a mix. I'm going to be boosting a Bad Cat Lynx X going into a Mesa Boogie 212 with two short SM57s on the grill. And I will be using my baritone Ernie Ball Music Man axis. So let's hear this in a mix. So now that we have heard the Apex 808 in a mix, let's do a little bit of a playthrough. And for a control, something we're all familiar with, I will be A and Bing this uh, Apex 808 with an original Maxon OD 808, the OG regular OD 808 overdrive, also into the front end of a Bad Cat Lynx X, and we will see how they compare. Let's do a playthrough. Honestly, I've heard a ton 
of different overdrives, especially Tube Screamer variants. And this is definitely up there. This would be in my, I would say this is in my top five overdrives of all time. It's crunchier and it's more uh, transparent in the top end. Uh, something that you don't really get with your um, the regular OD-808. It also doesn't have a severe of a mid-range hump or a low cut, which I actually really, really like. Depending on the situation now, is this my favorite overdrive of all time? No, I honestly would think that is the Maxon 40th anniversary OD-808 for my personal tastes. However, I will note that the Apex 808 retails for $300 because of those aforementioned new old stock parts that are inside the pedal. You are able to basically buy a vintage tube screamer at not vintage tube screamer prices, which are at this point, if you can find them, several up to several thousand dollars. They're very, very expensive. So $300 in comparison for the same sonic sound is a small price to pay if you are up for it. I will link down below to the Apex 808 if you would like one of your own. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn, you get more stuff to